Hello and welcome to this demonstration video where I'll show you how to configure the Borelson RTU32 running as a Modbus slave using serial communication. First I'll start by opening the Stratum Workbench. I'll add a new project. Select the destination folder where the project will be saved. Give the project a name, Modbus Master. Sorry, Modbus slave. I'll select the language as structured text, a release build, and then type in the IP address of the RTU running as a Modbus slave. Next thing to do is to add the Modbus slave driver. This is done in the field bus configurator. I'll start by opening this, right click, Insert configuration, select the Modbus slave protocol, then I need to add my slave. I'll select slave number one, then I'll just set the index of my address to zero. Now I need to add my data blocks. First, insert slave data blocks. Digital inputs from 1 to 8, declare the variables digital input module 0 and start by bit number 0. Now the Stratum workbench will automatically generate the variables for me. I have it here and it's put in the field bus configuration. Now I will add some digital outputs. This is coils. 1, 2, 4, this output module 0 and start by bit 0 and again create it automatically. Last thing I'll add some analog inputs. This is input registers 1, 2, 4, analog input like this. In this example, I'll bind the data points to the hardware in the RTU32. So I'll start by properties, select the profile due to input outputs, bit number 0, same again, but now bit number 1. So four and five. Six and the last one for the digital inputs, number seven. Then I'll do it for the digital output. Here I'll have to choose the same profile, but I need to change the IO type to digital outputs. Data type is output bit. The first one is bit zero. Digital outputs, output bit, bit 1, two, and the last one. and then for the analog inputs here I have to choose a different profile the analog input outputs here I'll do the scaling because it's 14 bits like this module 1 
the last analog inputs. So now we're done configuring the data points and do the hardware binding. Then I'll need to open my port. I'll need a function block under advanced modbus slave rtu. I'll create a variable for this one, modbus slave. Select the type. Modbus slave rtu. So modbus slave. The first parameter is enable, we'll set this true, and then the second one is the comport settings. And the next one is the slave idea. We'll just do a compilation, no errors, do a download to our RTU. Stop the current program running and then download the new one. And I'll just try and test the digital input, see if we have done the hardware binding correct. This was all for the digital. We'll change the analog inputs. Yes, perfect. Everything is working. Thank you. This was all for now. Bye.